This is a two-year full-time master's programme. It offers students an opportunity to develop an integrated understanding of child development and childhood mental health difficulties and disorders from multiple perspectives. It also offers an opportunity to develop clinical skills with children and young people in a clinical context. So it's really a foundational course for those who want to go into either further research or into clinical practice with children and families. There are three elements to what students will be learning on the programme. Firstly, there are various modules to help students build their knowledge and understanding of childhood development and mental health difficulties from multiple perspectives, including cognitive, behavioural, psychodynamic, neurobiological and systemic. The second element involves developing skills in research and research methodology. And the third element involves learning practical clinical skills through workshops and seminars. We use role play and other interactive techniques to teach skills such as building and maintaining therapeutic relationships with young people or conducting assessments and developing clinical formulations. One of the things I really liked about the course was that it was small and uh, it had a good mixture of people from the UK and from outside of the UK and also it had a good mixture of sort of theory and uh, learning about developmental psychology but then it also had a very practical element. And even though it was two years, that was spread across both years. So even though the placement was in the second year, um, there was still a practical element in the first year and a lot of emphasis on sort of skills that you could use within the workforce. In the same building, uh, and also right adjacent to us in, in the same building, we have a family school which has kids who've been excluded from education, uh, standard education. We've got clinical services, we've got the research bit which I'm involved in, uh, and we've also got postgraduate studies. So basically you would be in a building learning with all of these professionals as well, um, you know, a moment away. So I think it's a really good opportunity to use this course to build connections within the Anna Freud Centre, but also within the wider kind of mental health sector. In the first year, students attend a mixture of lectures, seminars, and practical workshops to develop the theoretical research and clinical skills. In the second year, students continue to attend lectures and seminars at the Anna Freud, as well as to work on their research project. In addition, throughout the second year, all students attend a clinical placement within a child and adolescent mental health service for three days a week. The placement is organised by the programme team and is supervised by an experienced clinician within the service. The main transferable skill that applies to what I'm doing right now is uh, the research skills that I gained from the research project, which is part of the course. So there's a dissertation um, that you have to write. And I wrote um, a qualitative study um, that was looking at the barriers and facilitators to the use of a web-based portal in CAMS. Um, all of those things were things I knew nothing about before the course, including qualitative research. So, um, but I felt really supported to do that and, and take that forward. We kind of learned how to set up a session so that somebody feels comfortable and how to uh, cover really important topics like confidentiality and risk, uh, things that can kind of be really difficult to talk about, but it's also very important to talk about them. So I think that's something I use literally every single day. And then in general, other aspects of the course that I just have held on to are um, that kind of integrative way of thinking. So looking at things from different perspectives. So. Um, thinking about the kind of young person's development in the context of their whole family and their family relationships um, and then also the wider culture of their school and society has always been really helpful. The teaching is supported by a personal tutor system. Each student is assigned a personal academic tutor who supports their academic and professional development to ensure all students get the support they need to do as well as possible. The personal tutor system can be particularly beneficial to international students to help them adjust to life in the UK and to studying in London. However, all our students, both home and international, can benefit hugely from this support system. The course really looks after the people who are on it and we are all known to the course directors and all the staff individually and that's really helpful when you are struggling or you're new to the city and it felt really looked after and I think that's really, really important when studying. The attention that I got from my supervisor, my research supervisor, and also my course tutor was exceptional. Um, and 
and incredibly focused on developing my own skills and also helping me to move toward the career path that I wanted to take. So that changed over, to, over time during the course. And I think my uh, supervisors that I had were incredibly flexible and also willing to sort of mold the, the, um, the kind of tasks that I was taking on so that they, they would uh, aid me in the future. And that's definitely paid off. This programme includes a substantial research component. There is a series of lectures and workshops aimed at developing research skills, both quantitative and qualitative, and there is also specific teaching around research in the context of evaluating clinical interventions. Alongside the teaching, the students undertake a two-year master-level research project, which is supervised by our research tutors. And that gives our students an opportunity to put their research skills in practice. The research skills that I gained from doing the project over those two years were so valuable because after I left the course I was able to transfer those skills over to uh, working as a research assistant and moving up to a research officer role um, actually at the evidence-based practice unit uh, which is a collaboration between UCL and the Anna Freud Center. Even though I've learned a lot of new skills through the work I've been doing, I don't think I would have been able to start that role without the foundation that I had from the research project. Now I'm working as a psychological well-being practitioner and I've been accepted onto the clinical doctorate training in Essex in September so I'll be moving on to that. We are looking for students with strong academic background and personal resilience who will be able to cope with the multiple demands of the course. As this is a course where students will be working with children, young people and families, it's also important for students to have good interpersonal skills and some experience working with children. This doesn't necessarily have to be experienced within clinical settings. For example, it can involve working with schools, as a youth worker, or even as a sports instructor. The important thing is for the students to demonstrate the ability to engage children and young people and to see things from a young person's perspective. Diversity and inclusion are important to us at the Anna Freud. So we welcome students from diverse backgrounds and cultures. And this brings a richness to our programme and adds to the learning and experience of all our students. It's important for us to create a community of students who are respectful, curious and open to learning and challenge. So ultimately, we are looking for students who are passionate about working in child mental health and about making a difference.